Welcome to Pollen Weather by Pollen Wise App. It's Friday, August 14th. I'm Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. Going into the weekend, I wanted to talk a little bit about our vision for Pollen Sense app and for this channel. But before that, we'll do the forecast. Let's pull up the pollen map here, taking a look at the forecast. Before we talk about the pollen levels, I just want to first say there's a high pressure system over the inner mountain west. You can see that ridge line there that follows the precipitation that you're seeing curve down around the southern half of Arizona and New Mexico and up the border of Colorado. That high pressure system is trapping a lot of heat in the inner mountain west. Because we don't get any relief in the form of precipitation in that region, we're going to see continued high dust levels. We're going to see high pollen levels. Today, there's a high risk for fire in eastern Idaho and the southern half of Wyoming. Hopefully we can keep sparks away from dry grass and brush out there. Most of the areas that you see precipitation here forecasted for Friday are also going to see precipitation over the weekend. And for the west, that high pressure system is going to sit there all weekend long. Chicago is looking at a high of 98 for pollen today. That's definitely going to be the highest in the nation. Taking a look at mold, you can see what that high pressure system in the Intermountain West is doing to mold levels. Dry and dusty and levels basically maxed out. Eastern Texas, as long as it stays dry, is going to have some high mold. And as far as mold goes in the eastern U.S., as long as the rain keeps falling, then maybe the mold will be held at bay, but eventually there will be a reckoning, and mold is going to shoot through the roof. Taking a look at air quality, we do have some very poor areas in the Great Lakes region as well as Las Vegas, Denver, and San Diego. The really bad air spots in South Central California have moved out, which is nice. But really what the West needs is a big storm system moving through. Showers are making it hot and humid, but also holding off those 100 degree temperatures across parts of the South. Okay, so for the teaser for this episode, I said that I wanted to talk about our vision for Pollen Sense the App and also for this channel. And you might be thinking that I have a long list of things that we want to do, but really what we want to do is provide for you what you need and what you're looking for. We have a bunch of really cool data coming in from our sensors all around the world. That's a big part of serving you as an allergy sufferer, but we also want to have tools, information, and other types of data that you can use to make your life better. So we're soliciting feedback. You'll often see that there's a survey running on the app. We definitely read everything that you write and take that into consideration. You can also email us at in Info at pollenwise.com, and we want to hear what you're looking for. We do have a lot of features in the pipeline, and we'll be unveiling them very soon, but I wanted to solicit your input on this so that we can get exactly what you need and want. Thanks for listening. Remember, this is the Pollen Channel on YouTube if you want to go back and hear something again.